York City. Yes. I'm Larry here with Xbox Live's Major Nelson, and joining me tonight are thousands of gamers watching us live on Mixer, hundreds of fans who are in person right there behind me in the glass. Look at that. Game developers from both first and third party and everybody's favorite Xbox One enhanced host. Who's that? AC Bongos himself, Mr. Oh, Grand Boy. Good Larry, to see you. you are too kind. Thank you very much. This is the moment we have all been waiting for, the release of the world's most powerful console, the Xbox One X. Now, the console has already gone on sale in New Zealand, Australia, and Europe, and fans around the globe are already playing online right now. Now, Larry, I want to start with just running through some of the more than 50-plus titles enhanced just for Xbox One X that yes. are available with the launch of the console this tonight. This list is unbelievable. It's ridiculous, isn't it? So yeah. in addition to Forza Motorsport 7, which is looking incredible you on this right big screen here. here, and Gears of War 4, there's also Assassin's Creed Origins, mm -hmm. Middle Earth Shadow of War, mm -hmm. Madden 18, Super Lucky's Tale, and the recently launched, and absolutely brilliant, by the way, I'm loving playing this. Have you played this. Zombies Mode in this? No, not yet. I'm, oh, I'm obsessed with the campaign. Of course it is. Call of Duty World War II. Yeah. Now, all of this holiday's biggest blockbusters are enhanced to look better on Xbox One X. And don't forget, if you already own any of those games, you'll be getting those updates for free. You won't pay another penny. In fact, you may already have some right now. There you go. Yes, and tonight's 60 Minutes of Gaming Bliss will include exclusive content from many of these titles, plus interviews with Mr. Phil Spencer. I see yes. him around here somewhere. Frank O'Connor, Rod Ferguson, Pete Hines, Brendan Green, and more. Oh, and we are going to give away a couple of 4K TVs to a few fans here at the store. Very nice indeed. All right, fans All right, watching at home tonight yep. can also enter for their chance to win a bunch of Xbox One games and a 55-inch Samsung QLED 4K UHD TV. So beautiful. That's a lot of letters and what numbers. Do you, how, what do I do to win, Graham? Tell well, the all you have home. to do is go to the Xbox Twitter handle and retweet this post that you'll be seeing on your screen right now. Uh, if you're in any Xbox Live official country around the world, you're eligible. So go for it. I mean, what have you got to lose? All right, all right. we've got a lot to show you. But tonight, before we get into the games, I'm going to show you something we've never shown anyone before. Let's see how the Xbox One X got here. launched every console since the Xbox 360, but I have never been more excited about launching a console than I am tonight. It's buzzing, isn't it? The buzzing. Xbox One X is so unbelievably powerful. Xbox One X has got six teraflops of power, 4K gaming, all powered by this. This is the Scorpio engine. Have you there seen this, Graham? Look oh, at that. It's beautiful, isn't it? Show everybody outside, see? Oh, yeah, see, yeah. they know exactly what this is. That's but where you the know what? Power comes from. The power of Scorpio has nothing, nothing on the power of our fans and community. True. We have the greatest fans in the world, and it is because of you that we have gotten here tonight, and you have helped us deliver the Xbox One S. This is a console you helped us build, so thank you. That's right. Amazing, isn't it? The buzz here is absolutely incredible. We've come to the city that never sleeps, yeah. and we're ready to show this city true power. Yeah. So hundreds of Xbox fans have shown up here tonight. In fact, they showed up yesterday. We've had people right. in, in the line since uh, Sunday afternoon here. Yeah. So they're standing in line right now, right outside. This is the flagship Microsoft store, New York City, right here on Fifth Avenue. And all these guys and girls out here are hoping to be some of the first gamers to get their hands on the Xbox One X. And they have been, right? Yeah. We've been inviting them in. They've yeah, been we have. playing here in this beautiful store. It's really been great. We have one right here, Cindy. Yeah, this. absolutely, yeah. <laughs> He's doing great as well. All right. Doing really good. So we're going to hear from some of those fans later. But dare I say, let's show could be too, finally, this could be the show that's too big for us. For Larry. you and I to handle yeah, alone. I know, I know, we've, we've been through a lot together. Yeah. So, we got two extra fantastic hosts tonight. This is such a treat. This is great. She's we've so got delightful. Mixers MK up there on the fifth floor in the Mixer Studio NYC. MK, take it away. 
Thanks, guys. Oh, wow. What a thrill to be here. I'm here on the fifth floor of the Microsoft Store in New York City. I've pulled off what I think is the best assignment of the night. I've been here all evening hosting gamers and developers, getting their hands on Xbox One X. So we're right here in the world-class Mixer Studio in New York City, where all year long they're streaming esports, competitive gaming, and community events on Mixer. But today is unlike any other. We're pulling fans from outside, uh, from the line outside, to come up here and get their game on. And uh, now, earlier today, we had a couple once-in-a-lifetime opportunities for fans to play uh, with Frank O'Connor in Halo 3 campaign co-op. So let's see how that went. All right, so we are here in the Mixer studio, and what we're doing is Frank O'Connor is going to jump into the campaign, and we're playing with some fans from the line. So what are we going to do here in the game, Frank? So we're just playing uh, co-op in, in Halo 3. There's a new update for the Xbox One X that uh, boosts it, and that's one of the things I'm really enjoying about the Xbox One X is getting to go through my old catalog. All right, dual wielding, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, see? Dual wielding, yeah. yeah. One of you was talking about some little tricks that you remember that you want to try to find. Yeah, there's they're a... They're hiding. There's, there's, there's a monkey? <laughs> and there's the yeah. art director of the game, Marcus Leto, is, is hidden away here as a monkey in a cave. So we're making our way through this environment. We're following this, this group of marines into the jungle. The chief doesn't really know what's happening here. He's mm -hmm. finding out that the Covenant have invaded, so this is a dark time for him. Oh, Ooh, a little go ghostly apparition. Hello. Oh, man, I keep forgetting. It's Cortana, mm -hmm. my uh, former digital personal assistant. <laughs> plugged into the back of my head for a couple of years. You really are yeah, one of the first people back. getting to play this enhanced. So what, what does this feel like? I can't even put it into words because it's just so beautiful. It's beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> <It's> so <laughs> pretty. It's so pretty. Joked it's just no, really. Only thing I could probably like ask for is just give us back Halo Three competitive again. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was like that was like the, not the peak, but definitely like oh man, I could well, sit there we, for that five hours. We are we're working on a 4K update. You'll get exactly what you're asking for. Thank just, you. Oh no. Ooh, uh oh. Uh oh. I don't know if that was friendly fire, but I'm getting out of here. Bye. So we're finally heading into the base. Oh, oh, oh no. Ah, oh, Frank's down. Grunt. You yeah. got it. You got it. You're right here. Yeah. But. <laughs> All right, let's head back up there and just go into it. We won. <laughs> there GG. It goes. GG. Good we mission. Finish the mission yeah. right on time. I mean, how cool is it to to get to see this? Are you, Credit to how good yeah, the game you got the feels. You're catching just, feels right now, man. I miss this game, man. Oh, <laughs> I'm here with Frank O'Connor and Chris Lee of 343 Industries and some more very enthusiastic players getting their first hands opportunity to play Halo 3 Enhanced for Xbox One X, which is looking pretty incredible. Like we saw earlier, Frank, wowza. So that looked like a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Um, so take it away. Like. How are you feeling? Uh, we feel pretty good. Uh, I, I love console launches. Like I've been playing console games since I was a kid on Atari 2600 and I've lived through an awful lot of console launches and this is uh, the most exciting one to date, literally. Mm -hmm. And like you're just saying, you know, Halo has been at every single console launch in Xbox history. Yep. More or less, we well, uh, yeah, we weren't quite there on 360. Uh, we were oh, we yeah. were a year after, but, <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, we're always there in in body and spirit, if not with the games. But uh, uh, this is, it's just amazing to be here with not one, not two, but three games for this launch. So, a ton of Halo content for Xbox One X. It's really exciting for the studio. Yeah, yeah, that's fantastic. Now, um, so. <sighs> Now, we didn't get the chance to talk to you earlier, but you uh, have been talking to the fans and everything as well, right? Yeah, I've been uh, at the event uh, watching people play all of the great games here uh, on Xbox One X. Um, we saw a ton of Halo fans and uh, um, just really got to enjoy a lot of the, um, the energy and the excitement that everyone has. So tell me everything that Halo fans have to look forward to on the Xbox One X. Uh, like I said, there's, th there's three main things from Halo. We have Halo 3, the mm -hmm. Xbox 360 game running like we saw earlier. compatible mode. And it's, uh, it's running nine times the pixels of the original to celebrate the 10th anniversary, more or less. We have uh, Halo Wars 2, which is full 4K, HDR, looks beautiful, um, really shows off the detail uh, that the guys put in the game. And of course, Halo 5, which is the thing I've been playing the most of uh, in our take-home tests. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a huge update for Halo 5. We have the overtime update to celebrate the launch of Xbox One X, where we have a fan favorite Oddball returning. Uh, for the fans, we have 
tons of weapon skins, and of course we upgraded the game to 4K UHD to celebrate the launch of Xbox One X. So Chris, what are you most looking forward to playing on the Xbox One X? You know, I've Playing upstairs, I got a little bit of time with Forza and Shadow of War, and uh, both of those games are top of my list to play um, after playing a bunch of games of oddball with the fans. It was yeah. so cool getting to watch Frank play with fans. So I'm in for the next round, right? Like, sure, but yeah. we'll be, it won't be co-op. Yeah, <laughs> bring it. <laughs> All right. Okay, so thank you guys so much for joining us today. Um, the games look amazing, and we'll be back up here shortly to show you more. But uh, first, I'm going to send you guys outside to Rukari, amazing co-host who's hanging out with some of the world's biggest Xbox fans. All right, we are here on the world-famous Fifth Avenue in New York City at one of the impressive flagship Microsoft stores with this very excited crowd waiting to get inside tonight at midnight to take home the most powerful console ever made. Now the first fan arrived here about 18 hours ago and that is some serious dedication and we've been here all day with some of our biggest fans sitting through the rain and shine to meet some of the legends of Xbox that are here today to celebrate this launch of Xbox One X. But that's not all. That is not it. The 405th arrived and is ready to fight. They were hanging out here with the fans and trying to get some more recruits for their cause. Final Fantasy 15 director no Tabata です。今日は Xbox One X のロンチだそうで、えー、ロンチおめでとうございます。そしてすでに手に入れた、えー、ゲーマーの皆さんも本当におめでとうございます。主に三つ強化しました。えー、一つはまあもう皆さんわかると思うんだけども、まあ 4K テレビに対応するハードウェアなので、えー、F15 も。4K で出力できるようになってます。でもう一つが世界そのものを高解像度化しています。これは今並行で開発している PC バージョンで使っている高解像度テクスチャーっていうのを Xbox One X ってチップの性能が上がっただけじゃなくてメモリがすごくリッチになっているので、そのリッチになったメモリのサイズを生かして高解像度テクスチャーを適用させました。本当にその世界のなんだろう精細な感じがすごく高まっているので、えー、同じゲームに見えない場面,場面があるぐらい良くなっています。あのより遠くまで世界を描写するっていうようなあの対応をしています。まあ今後は HDR4K っていうのはもう標準だと思ってます。それぐらい、えー、そうでないものと 4KHDR のバージョンを比べると体験の質が違います。でその標準だと僕らが生きる、えー、Final Fantasy 15を最初に体験できるのが Xbox One X のユーザーなので、えー、存分に楽しんでほしいと思ってます。まあ、すでにね、FF15 に購入している人たちはあのー、この発売日に向けてすでにパッチが当たっているので、えー、さっき見てもらったあのリッチになった FF15 を楽しめます。Second of all, performance boost, better textures, and better quality shots. We are really happy to be on Xbox One X, and I hope you enjoy the game. I'm here with the head of Xbox, Phil Spencer. Phil, the console yes. is launching at midnight today. We're less than an hour away. What are people saying? Uh, people are having a great time playing games upstairs, getting their hands on what it's all about, playing great games on Xbox One. Really impressed with the way the image looks on our 4K screens. Oh, it's it great. Look, it looks so good, doesn't it? It looks Graham? amazing. So let, let's talk about that. Tell us about the importance of 4K gaming and HDR and gaming for you, Phil. Yeah. I grew up building games, and uh, people, designers want to create the most immersive experiences they can, giving people life-life experiences. So more fidelity, the better the frame rate, the higher range the color gives, just creates a sense of immersion that's never been seen on a television before. Now, if you follow Phil on Twitter, that's Xbox P3. Uh, you know Phil's a huge community guy. Now, we know you were up in the Mixer Studio earlier doing a little bit of Beat the Boss. Now, how'd that go? The Boss. The Boss. Won. Uh, we played some Forza, which is unfair because I'm a huge Forza fan. Yes, you are. Uh, and I, I had the little number one up in the upper left corner at the end of the two laps. So right. You know, when day. I was speaking to the production team, I said, so how badly did Phil get beaten? 
and they said, I've got news for you. <laughs> so let's take a look and see how you did, Phil. Thanks. And we're back with yet another once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for some fans that we brought up from the line outside on Fifth Avenue. Phil, oh my gosh, you ready for this whole thing? I think I'm getting destroyed. Phil in first person. I'm seeing no, I'm third switching person. That out. Okay. Right here. All right. Ooh, all right. Yeah, I'm... Don't you pass me. Yeah, there yeah. we go. Oh, okay. I'm going to get rubbed in this. Look at him. Look at him. Look what he's Ooh. doing. Look what he's doing. I can't wait to get it home. It's just my right. sense of speed's a little more. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's gonna ever want to play with me online again. You can punt me. I think I they're like afraid. That That's a good car. Oh! oh I'm catching up. Uh, I don't know. Mine says one up in the upper left corner. I don't know what that means. Oh, there he goes. Ooh. Okay, now Ooh, the race is on. Right. Now yeah. the race is on. I have way too many hours in Fort Set. Oh, man, you do not want to run up against Phil, do you? A bit of trash talking there as well. <laughs> oh, Unbelievable. Okay. All right, thanks very much to Phil Spencer. Now, you know me and Phil are both massive Forza fans, and the Forza team has gone under the hood to show you what the power of Xbox One X can do with the best-selling racing franchise. Let's take a look. Forza Motorsport 7 on the Xbox One X is the ultimate racing experience. Turn 10 in Forza has been with us from the beginning, building the game to take advantage of all the power and performance that the Xbox One X has to offer. It's the world's most powerful console, a six teraflop GPU, 12 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory. The Xbox One X has unlocked the ability for our team to reimagine the racing experience. Native 4K resolution, high dynamic range, 60 frames per second. That is the, the dream that every gamer has, is I wanna see 4K 60 HDR in my living room. It allows us to have high resolution assets. We can push out draw distances, incredible modeling. Photogrammetry, which actually uses our photo reference to build the materials that you see in the game. All of that comes together to make the game more than enhanced. And this game is reborn in the Xbox One X. As a race car driver, it comes down to details. Getting to play Forza Motorsport 7 in 4K, you know, that resolution really takes everything to the next level. Especially native 4K, where the cars, they just sparkle. Things like the Alcantara that you see to machine scratches uh, on the insides of wheel wells. A candy apple paint job where there's metal fleck. The detail is insane. When you see this beautiful sky, such depth in the clouds and the sun, it never looks so real as it does in HDR. One of the tenets of Turn 10 Studios is every game that we make has to be at 60 frames per second. You, you just can't get crisper than that, and it really feels real when you're playing. It gives you a level of detail that makes you lose your surroundings. I'm not in my living room anymore. I'm there. Sports Motorsport 7 is so much more human. We wanted to capture the thrill, the excitement, the danger of racing. In some ways, it's violence. Get the violence of racing. Feeling the vibrations, you know, hearing the sound, the visual of it when you're at speed. You can actually hear the driveline flex. The windshield wipers are rattling. The rain's pounding on the windshield. I'm all tense about it. 210 miles per hour, flying down the Mulsanne Strait. I have goosebumps. <laughs> There you go, everyone. That's what it means to play at 4K, 60 frames per second with HDR. It looks so good. And who put this big screen running Forza here? I'm okay. easily distracted. Now, and there's a beautiful Alfa Romeo there that's it, just taking like... It's gorgeous. Look at it. I can't deal with it. All right, now listen. I have some exciting news for Forza Horizon 3 fans. Yes! The Xbox One enhanced version of Forza Horizon 3 running in true 4K beauty will be available on January 15th. This will, of course, be free for all Forza Horizon 3 owners. That is amazing news. That yeah. game looks incredible already. It's going to be it's so good enhanced. Right. There is only one console that can execute on that kind of power, and that console was built through one of the most advanced development processes ever. We're going to peel back the curtain now and sure, show sir. you where we came from and how we got here.
two years ago when we started on this journey, you told us you wanted certain things from us. You wanted power. You wanted community. You wanted choice. This product that we're announcing today is absolutely the culmination of all of your feedback and something that we think will truly move Xbox forward. From the beginning of Project Scorpio, we sought to make the most powerful console ever. We wanted to create something for gamers that had never been attempted before. And to do that, we needed to rethink how we did everything while keeping the best of what we had done before. After three years of development, every nanometer and every component was architected for maximum power and efficiency. The result was the Scorpio engine, six teraflops, 12 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory, and 256 gigabits per second of memory bandwidth. We invented entirely new systems because the industry standard was not good enough. The most powerful processor fits into the smallest Xbox we've ever built. We worked in the quietest place on Earth, a floating chamber without sound. It's a room within a room within a room within a room up until six layers. That's how we can get it so quiet. There is something says, ah, this is different. You won't know what it is, but that's the magic behind what the designers want. We obsessed with milliseconds and decibels. From the moment you turn it on, something should tell you this is different. We tested, iterated, revised, and changed our design countless times. We worked in our in-house advanced prototyping center, where an idea would become a prototype in minutes instead of days. Constant, subtle refinements and evolution for every single detail. Every environment where this device could be used was tested and analyzed. We did things with materials that they said couldn't be done. We changed colors, textures, and finishes in one of the most advanced labs ever. We wanted to build something that could be enjoyed by gamers the world over. We tested the grip of different hands as they interact with games, and custom gameplay labs revealed insights into how people play. We iterated over and over to create a console for everyone. The most powerful console needed to be unleashed on every screen possible. We created an opportunity for developers to match the power of the PC, immediately unleashing superior graphical fidelity and redefining how games will be created and how you'll experience your games forever. We unlocked the innovation and palette that defines the true 4K gaming experience. Over 8 million pixels, wide color gamut, Dolby Atmos sound, creating the canvas for passionate and talented developers to bring you to a place that will play the best games of the past, the present, and the future. I'm here with Xbox's Albert Pinello and Sylvain Trotter, a technology director at From Ubisoft, who is here to talk about Assassin's Creed Origins. Now, we've been talking all evening about how games influence this console, but now we want to talk about, to the developers themselves, how they've influenced, how they've been influenced by Xbox One X. So, Albert, I want to start with you. Talk about talking about this console with the developers. Well, we started with the developers in mind as well as our fans. In fact, in E3 2016, when we announced Project Scorpio to the world, we weren't just building one console, we were actually building two. Now we're, explain that, because that's really exciting. Well, we were building the Xbox One X, which is what consumers are going to be buying today. Sure. But we also built a brand new dev kit internally called Chuckwalla, which was designed just for developers to be able to extract the most power that they could get out of the box, the easiest um, to develop for. Now, Sylvain, when you got your hands on this development kit, the Xbox One X development kit, what was your experience? It was, frankly, it was amazing. We need to thank your team's guy because it's like, it took us literally like a day or max two before our game was running in 4K on the platform. Right. So it's like, it was really, really quick and amazing to see it running like that. Yeah, I mean, there's the, it, the game looks so good. So let's talk about it. And how did you guys use the power of Xbox One X to really realize the vision for the game. So, 
that yeah, the ambition visually for the game was already very high. And every time we develop on a platform, we have to kind of limit ourselves to what we can show. Because it's like the vision is very high, but the, the platforms usually don't give so us So it's vision power. and reality. Yeah, <laughs> what, you can, what you can do. Yeah. On the Xbox One X, we could push this vision, like we could push the limit. And visually, graphically, like the, the level of details we can push, the draw distance, like the pebbles, the rock, every little detail that make this world very living and very real are all there on, on the platform. Albert, I want to talk to you about the Xbox One X Enhanced program. This is an extraordinary program we announced a few months ago. What, uh, what does it mean to fans? Well, Xbox One X Enhanced is how we explain to customers when a developer has gone above and beyond and really extracted the maximum power of the Xbox One X. And there's really three things we ask our customers to look for. The first is 4K UHD. Yep. That says that the game is in 4K on Xbox One X. HDR, or high dynamic range, to get those vibrant colors and those vibrant brights. And then finally, Xbox One X Enhanced, again, which tells you this game, the developer has gone and done work to make the game unbelievable. Assassin's Creed Origins is a great example of Xbox One X Enhanced. It is not only in 4K, uh, but it's also in HDR. We actually have the most uh, titles ever in a console launch. We have over 50 titles launching tonight. There'll be 70 in the first week all taking advantage of the power of Xbox One X. Unbelievable. Now, now Sylvain, Assassin's Creed Origins went on sale a few weeks ago. I'd love to hear about some of the Xbox One enhancements that folks are going to enjoy. So, like I said before, the level of details, we can push them a lot farther, like the draw distance are pushing a lot farther, but one of the cool things that we did that is very unique to the Xbox One X is that since we have so much RAM available for us as developers, we use the RAM when you use Sinu, Sinu is your eagle that you That's use it. to explore like yeah. the world yeah. and discover all the opportunities that are offered to you as a player. When we do this, we need RAM. We need to load like the the, 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 the bubble around the eagle. But when we come back to, ba to Bayek, because it's on the Xbox One X and because we have so much RAM, we have two bubbles loaded. I see. And this way, like the transition between like Sinu and Bayek is, is almost super instantaneous. Quick. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I've been reading some of these reviews online. It's unbelievable. Now, we're really unleashing 4K for the masses tonight. This may be the first time that many people have experienced console games at this fidelity. I'll ask both of you, what does this really mean for gamers? Albert? Well, I think, first and foremost, you have to see it to believe it. I mean, obviously, Assassin's Creed Origins, people are saying it's one of the best looking games on the platform. I agree, it's unbelievable. But to see the level of fidelity that previously you could only see in a high-end gaming PC, to see the resolution, the high dynamic range, uh, the wide color gamut, to see those things yourself is going to be, I think, a, an industry-changing event now that we're going to bring 4K to the masses. Sylvain, what about you? What do you think, for, what does it mean for gamers? At UB Montreal, we really, uh, one of our, like, uh, thing that we're very proud about is that we do a lot of very realistic game very like realistic looking game and so having like more pixels like that uh, higher dynamic range will allow us to just display even more nice nice looking game and like even more immersive game so for us it's very cool to see all this new tech come in come alive but that is not all listen from the Ubisoft portfolio they have also confirmed several other games in their portfolio including for Honor, Steep, The Division, and, drum roll please, Ghost Recon Wildlands are all going to get the Xbox One X Enhanced. So I'm really excited about that. Sylvain, congratulations on the launch of Assassin's Creed Origins. Thank Albert, you thank you for your time. We're gonna go upstairs. It may seem that all the action is happening down here, but while you've been seeing all the great games with, uh, with us, MK has been operating the Mixer Studio upstairs, bringing your gamers in from the line, bringing them upstairs, playing games. MK, what's going on up there? It's getting crazy. We've had some seriously amped up Xbox gamers up here. They're hyped to finally be playing on Xbox One X. On top of that, some of them are getting the crazy chance to play with some of the game's creators. And earlier we got to see if the man who loves to save humanity has got any game. All right, so we're here with Rod Ferguson and some amazing fans that we brought up from the line. Are you ready, Rod? Uh, we are definitely ready. So we're playing Horde, we're gonna take on the Swarm, we're playing our new Monster Mash. So there'll be a boss every five, so uh, we're gonna see how far we can get. All right, I think we should kick this thing off. So uh, what level are you guys playing in? Uh, we're playing on Foundation, and uh, I'm the engineer, because I'm always the engineer. It's century time. I just want to dive in. <laughs> you think they're going to make it to wave 10? That's what Rod's hoping. I, I 
just the way it's going, it actually seems like it's going to be Okay. <laughs> oh. There you go. Beat out. Beat oh out. no! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh -oh. Beat out. Yeah. Good teamwork. So it's working together. Co-op experience. Not only are they totally gelling now, but it's like Another. what a once in a lifetime experience. That once in a lifetime. I do play the game, so there are lots of people get to play with me. They just don't know it's me. <laughs> I'm gonna go upgrade the sentries with the leftover money. Okay, upgraded. The man, the myth, the legend. Okay, down on the right, thank you. It feels like I'm playing with, the, with my friends, to be honest yeah, with you. Yeah, yeah. It was awesome. Wow, get them off, man. Not every day you get to play with a legend. All right. We're locked, fortifications are gone. I don't know. He's dead. There he's at, there he's at. We got it, we got it, we got it. There you go. Yeah, we did it. All right. Good job. All right. Uh, Good work. All right, so I'm here with the legendary Rod Ferguson. Uh, just trying to figure out how many times I can say legendary in the same sentence as your name. Uh, studio head at the Coalition, the makers of Gears of War. Okay, so Rod, let's jump right into it. Tell us about the Xbox One X enhancements for Gears of War 4. What can we expect? Uh, you can expect a lot. You know, we've done, uh, one of the biggest things we've done actually is we've tapped into the power to let the players choose how they want to use that power. So mm -hmm. they can choose to go visuals, where they can do 4K, get all the enhancements that we have with HDR mm -hmm. and wide color gamut and all the t different sort of advanced rendering features uh, or if they maybe they don't have a 4k display they can take that power and they can switch it to be focused on performance and now they can mm -hmm. play a campaign and hoard up to 60 frames per second for the first time ever in the franchise it's really spectacular and so what was it like to develop for a console of such power is it sim similar sort of to um, developing for PC well, I mean, the big thing for us was that we're actually getting to sort of take off the restrictor plate on our content. You know, we make this content at 4K. And so to be able to have that wide color gamut, to have that HDR, to have 4K assets means you're actually getting to see the game the way the artists created it. And so that was really great because there wasn't this sort of limitation anymore to how we show the content. And it's so easy to work on, on the on Xbox One X. Mm -hmm. uh, and that so being able to tap into that to deliver that kind of uh, visual fidelity to the player to see how we created it is, is awesome. And so you, you mentioned that that 4k uh, HDR um, and with the the wide color gamut now specifically um, we're also going to be seeing these incredible textures and um, like the dynamic shadows and what does that look like yeah, I mean, it's basically bringing the world to life. You know, one of the things that we're able to do is with all that power, we can turn on even more rendering features than we did before, with, even whether you take performance or visual. So now, what worse once static shadows are now dynamic, and mm -hmm. the volumetric lighting, uh, the ultra-high definition textures, like all that stuff makes the world feel more alive. And so when you look at the wind storms and the combat and every, all the dynamic environments we have in the game, you take all that and it just gets amped up. And mm -hmm. so it really feels like fundamentally different. Yeah, well, thank you so much for being here, Rod, and for playing with these fans. And we're going to be heading back out uh, here shortly to show you more. But next, we're going to send you back out to Rukari with that growing, incredible crowd outside on Fifth Avenue. That looked great. Not everyone gets to hoard with Rod Ferguson. And we've been getting some perks down here as well. We found a couple of lucky people down here in line who are going to have a fantastic setup this holiday, thanks to our partners at Samsung. Let's check it out. I'm about to make that happen for two of our fans outside by awarding each of them a brand new 55 inch QLED 4K UHD TV thanks to the folks at Samsung. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I got a beautiful Now, those two are really lucky, but they aren't the only ones. Fans watching at home can have their own chance to win their very own Samsung TV by being a part of our Retweet to Win sweepstakes. Make sure to follow at Xbox and retweet the post that you see now. Now, speaking of Lucky, I have right here another Xbox legend, my friend Lucky, who I recently spent some time with entering the Guinness Book of World Records with the highest altitude game stream ever. Lucky, are you ready to quest with these people to go save your sister? All right, sweet, we're ready to do it. Well, everyone, Super Lucky's Tale is available tonight, and I will tell you it is a classic platformer that is absolutely too much fun. 
Now, Super Lucky's Tale is brought to us by the developers at Playful. They created Super Lucky's Tale in the spirit of the nostalgic platformer games that just do not come around often enough. It is an all-ages adventure filled with unpredictable challenges and a cast of charming characters, and it launches today in 4K. Now, a lot of love goes into making all of these games look incredible. In this next piece, streamer Linus Text Tips takes us behind the scenes at Monolith Studios to share what it takes to make games like the epic Shadow of War. Courtesy of Xbox, Linus Tech Tips is taking you under the hood at Monolith Productions, makers of the critically acclaimed Middle Earth Shadow of War. The character modelers and texture artists had a much easier time adapting to the Xbox One X's 4K resolution. It's pretty straightforward to 2X or 4X the resolution of your output to leverage more powerful hardware when you're already meticulously creating your artwork at as much as 10 times the required resolution. Now by now, you've probably noticed noticed how dark it is at Monolith, but the darkest offices actually belong to the team responsible for in-game lighting effects. Taking advantage of the Xbox One X's support for high dynamic range or HDR lighting presented some significant engineering challenges, but thanks to Monolith's use of their own game technology and the two years of experience they have experimenting with HDR, the results look superb. We'll also be taking a look at Monolith's spectacular motion capture studio where they use their own animators as combat actors and stunt people, as well as their sound production process, which included using potty putty to make orc farts, among other cool tricks. So who says when you're developing the hottest games for Microsoft's first ever 4K gaming console, you can't still have fun? For a full look at developing for the Xbox One X, check out the studio tour over at youtube.com slash Linus Tech Tips. All of the best games are here on Xbox. One of those games I know we've all been playing is Cuphead. MK is up in the Mixer NYC studio with Studio MDHR on this 30 Styles platformer. MK? Thanks, Rikari. I'm here with indie darling Cuphead producer and artist Maya Moldenauer. Now, Cuphead launched in September and it's been a huge hit. What's next for you and the team, Maya? Oh my, we've been, we've been really busy. Just trying to get organized, take a deep breath. Um, but yeah, just kind of taking it all in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, how are you going to be using the power of Xbox One X to enhance your game? Well, um, I can say that we're very excited about the power of uh, the Xbox One X. Um, unfortunately for Cuphead, um, there's a lot of work that goes in, mm -hmm. that's gonna have to go into it um, to increase the resolution of it, having to redo everything mm -hmm. um, from, from the scanning phase onwards into a higher resolution, but we're very excited to take that and the power of the Xbox One X mm -hmm. and put it into all of our games. Well, we know whatever you guys do, it's it's going to look amazing. So uh, how about any hints at DLC that you guys might have coming down the pipe? <laughs> not to put you on the spot. Hint, hint, hint. No, yeah. no, not at all. <laughs> no, no. Um, well, I can't say too much about that, mm. but what I can leave you with is just um, maybe a hint at maybe you might be able to play as Mugman in single player pretty soon and a few Ooh. more other things up our sleeves. So Team stay Mugman. tuned. Oh. Team Mugman. Thanks so much <laughs> and congratulations on just the runaway success. We could not be happier for Thank you guys you. in your studio. Thank you so much. Thanks, Maya. So I know you have some fans out there on Fifth Avenue um, that I think we promised that they get a little bit of time with you. So thanks so much for coming and yes. have a wonderful night. Thank you. Thanks so much for having me. All righty. So now it's Nate yeah, uh, hello, joining everybody. us. Hello, Nate Ahern from yes. the ID at Xbox team. <laughs> What's up? Okay. Not much. So the ID at Xbox program, you guys have had a crazy, we incredible have, yeah. year. Okay. So now, though, with the Xbox One mm -hmm. X, what does that mean for you guys? Yeah. I mean, you know, the response from developers that are in ID at Xbox to Xbox One X has been fantastic, right? We're hearing about games that are still in development that are going to be utilizing Xbox One X in some amazing ways, as mm -hmm. well as games mm -hmm. that are al already released. Games mm -hmm. like Slime Rancher, like Tacoma, like Astroneer. Astroneer. Yeah, that we're seeing so now. Good. Astroneer is mm -hmm. a beautiful game, right, if you yeah. haven't seen it. No, I played it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. the, the team at System Era is delivering an update today that's delivering 4K <gasps> visuals wow. for this game with an update for HDR that's happening mm -hmm. at a later date. Mm -hmm. Uh, and here's an example of a game that's actually coming in 2018 Ooh. called Black Desert from Pearl Abyss. Uh, this game is going to take 
huge advantage of Xbox One X mm -hmm. uh, with amazing visuals, and it's it's just going to look amazing uh, when it launches exclusively on Xbox One next year. Ooh, and it looks like um, we uh, are also going to be joined oh. by Jesse Rapsick, oh, uh, a wild founder wild and creator has joined us. Hello. of the hit Dino Survival <laughs> Game, Ark Survival Evolved. Jesse, what are you doing here? Where did you come from? You <laughs> Say hi. It's nice. Yeah. Take some time out from your New York vacation to join us. That's exactly. great. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, thanks for having me. Okay, yeah, absolutely. so you guys and your team have yeah. been working on these enhancements for Xbox One X and Ark, which is already a beautiful game. Yeah, so, so like, what, what are people going to see from, from Ark on Xbox One X? Like, what are they seeing right now in this video? Well, you know, uh, Ark is a game that barely fit on current-gen consoles. Yeah, and sure. And it's so big that now that Xbox One X is here, we can really see it with the way that we're very happy with. The high-end settings that we employ on PC, um, you get really further draw distances, yeah. higher resolution uh, textures mm -hmm. being rendered to the screen, in some cases, higher resolution geometry. We've got really nice environment features like long-range shadows. Yeah, it looks amazing. And mm. we've also got wow. really cool dynamic weather that until today has not appeared on a console platform. That means when it rains in the game or when it snows, those clouds are actually volumetric and they form and change. It's not just a texture, a skybox, you know, and that also impacts all the atmosphere. Um, so we've got, we let players choose. If you want to see all that detail, you can turn on that um, high quality 30 FPS mode. Mm -hmm. But if you're really a frame rate person and you want the highest frame rate yeah. possible, you can use the power of the Xbox One X to render a 60 FPS target. Uh, turning off some of the settings that mm -hmm. uh, I just mentioned, but still <laughs> yeah. looks much higher quality, higher resolution. That right. is so exciting. So how soon are people going to see these incredible enhancements? The minute they get their hands on an Xbox One X, it'll be on their right console. Right now. That update oh, that's launched awesome. today, so right. Cannot wait to see it. <laughs> Thanks so much Very for joining cool. us tonight, Jesse. And as a final send-off, I hear we uh, have the debut for your new live-action trailer, oh, yeah. which we're going to show right now. Enjoy. All right, that is gorgeous. Okay, so with me now is Rain Day, a caster from Hi Res Studios, uh, makers of Paladin, to yes. talk about the game. Yes. Okay. You're interrupting my game, MK. Just I know, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm like totally wrecking you right now. <laughs> <laughs> my, my sincere apologies. So, can you share some details about how Paladins is taking advantage of Xbox One X? Absolutely. I mean, you know, with a, we're a team based fantasy shooter, right? And, and that means that immersion is important. So, really taking advantage of the 4K uh, that the Xbox One X has, and of course, the 60 frames per second allows you to just get more and more involved and, and maybe believe that there is a dragon somewhere having a you know a jetpack to fly instead mm -hmm. of using his actual wings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So are you going to be playing in the Paladins console series? I wish. I think the pros would be scared. Uh, <laughs> I, I'll cast them instead. Uh, maybe I'll save that for mm -hmm. uh, when I retire from casting. I'll start playing. But Paladins consoles... Uh, console series is going to be going on for a year. We've got over $250,000 that uh, we're going to be committed to giving players. Uh, mm -hmm. And with this incredible re <laughs> with this incredible resolution, I mean, they're going to have a better chance to mm -hmm. qualify for mm -hmm. HRX in January and maybe win the big prize. Awesome. And people at home can check out the console series on Mixer yes. soon, very yes. soon. So thanks so much for joining us, Rain Day. No problem. We're going to keep hanging out, playing up here, and we'll check in with Larry and Graham. But first, get a good look at all the games you can play first on Xbox with EA access why join ea access are you ready for what's coming with ea access you get to play new ea games before they're released well now here we go and all of your progress carries over at launch so on day one you'll stay ahead of the competition are you ready for what's coming get unlimited access to an ever-growing collection of ea's best and expand your library of games instantly Plus, get 10% off EA digital purchases, including full games, DLC, and even Ultimate Team content. Well, now here we go. Ready to get started? Just download the EA Access app on Xbox One. Are you ready for what's coming? 
starting November 9th. That's five days early and exclusively on Xbox One. EA Access members will be able to play the 10-hour play first trial of Star Wars Battlefront 2 and yes. The Sims 4. And so for those on Xbox One X, I have some great news for you. Star Wars will be enhanced for the Xbox One X and in HDR. Yes. Now, if you haven't already, head to the Xbox handle on Twitter and retweet the post for your chance to win one of 10 copies of Star Wars Battlefront 2 and a free month of EA Access so you can play early. How good is that? What, what is wrong with that? As simple as that. All right. right. I know. All right, here we go. Now, you know what looks amazing in 4K, Graham? What is it? Why don't you tell me? The NFL. Our partners at EA are using the power of Xbox One X to bring NFL to life. Take a look at this. We are joined here by Pete Hines from Bethesda. How are you doing, Pete? I'm good. How are you guys? Uh, we're really good. Dude. I we're would be better if I was home playing Wolfenstein. As, as would all of these <laughs> fine folks, but we're trying to get them there. <laughs> all right, Pete. Bethesda has a great portfolio of amazing games, so why don't you tell us about some of the titles that are going to be enhanced for Xbox One X? Well, as Larry and I were discussing before we came on, yep. we just put up this wonderful article on BethesdaNet, so if you'd like to know everything we're doing across all of our games, that would be a really good idea. You can't miss it. Go to Bethesda.net. There's a lovely article that tells you about all the things we're doing, uh, but obviously Wolfenstein just came out. Uh, that patch is already up, uh, featuring uh, Xbox One X support, uh, The Evil Within 2, yep. uh, Death of the Outsider, which is the standalone DLC with 4K support, as well as Dishonored 2, which came out last year, yep. Elder Scrolls Online, Fallout 4, Skyrim Special Edition. So you're going to make nice. me go back into the Fallout world. So, I know. you know, you're getting 4K support, you're getting improved frame rates, improved performance. We even have, uh, you guys were nice enough to include both Fallout 3 and Oblivion as part of your Xbox One X backwards compat enhanced yes. uh, Love program. That. So we have a ton of stuff it's that's taking that advantage of it. You're program. enhancing new games yeah. and some of your old games from your catalog yeah. that we all love. Uh, you know, we talk about Xbox One being the console where you can play best games from the past, the present, the future, and you've just brought it to life there. That's absolutely amazing. Yeah, and, you know, we're not done. I mean, we, you know, there's a bunch of them that we were able to talk about, and like I said, you know, Wolfenstein's out. I think the Elder Scrolls Online update goes out tomorrow, but there are even other games that we're still looking at, uh, teams working on... Pray. 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 <laughs> yes. Uh, Pray team's working on <laughs> yes. something. The Thank Id, you. The id guys, I mean, they're tech guys. Oh. And so Doom for Xbox One X and taking advantage is, is nice. something that we're looking at. So we're not we're not done. We're not stopping. But this is what we're able to talk about at least uh, right now. And obviously going forward, we got a lot of great stuff under wraps that we can't wait to yes. take full advantage of, which now, you guys are launching. What are your what are developers saying about the, the console? I mean, you, you've been walking through your development studios. You just talked amazing. I mean, these are unbelievable titles. What are they saying about the technology? Well, I mean, it's any time you give developers more more power right and they're, they're more than happy to take advantage of that because ultimately they're trying to put the best face forward for the thing that they're making and so better hardware means that you can get better frame rates or additional effects you know Elder Scrolls Online is doing enhanced water and, and shadows now th does that mean the game is like dramatically different no but for a game that's uh, immersive it certainly makes the world feel more believable it's yeah. more, these are these are games that people spend thousands of hours in with Elder Scrolls Online so bringing more detail to that world uh, through the through the hardware is something they're all super excited about and obviously really interested in for for future titles down the road totally it's also enabling you to bring like a whole new amazing look to some of your some of your older titles right oh, your absolutely. classic titles like what does back compat mean for you guys at Bethesda you know I mean look uh, uh, oblivion was a hugely important uh, game for us when we first launched it 
it on Xbox 360, and it's still a game that gets played by a lot of people. Having those games on the latest hardware and the enhancements you guys have done, honestly, like those games have never looked better on a console than they do on the Xbox One X. Now, it, obviously, we don't have a lot of time to talk to Pete, and he talked about the blog post at the top of the interview. So give us that, give us that URL again where they uh, go. It's uh, Bethesda.net. All right, so you need to go to Bethesda.net, and you'll get all the goodness from folks, from uh, from Pete and the gang there. Pete, great to see you, man. Great to see you guys. Thanks. Welcome nice back seeing on the you again. Thank you for Cheers, your time. Bob. All right, Graham, what are we going to do now? All right, things are heating up outside. You can see it. Look at that with more and more arriving to wait for the doors open. So let's hand over to Rikari and see what's going on out there. All right, well, thanks a lot, Graham. We're here with Moses. Moses, how you doing tonight? I'm having fun. It's exciting. Uh, a lot of people out here just can't wait to get my Xbox and uh, go home and play with it. All right, so you get your Xbox One X tonight. However, PUBG is on its way, and it's coming out on December 12th. Yeah. Are you ready? I can't wait. I, I, I wish it was coming out with it tonight so I can get my hands on it and play. I'm so excited for it. Um, since I've it's, seen it's one of those instant pickups, yes? You know, come December 12th, you're there? Um, I'm, the minute it comes out, I'm buying it. I'm, I can't wait to get my hands on it. Um, I wanted to get it for the PC, but I just want to play it on the Xbox, so I'm waiting for it to come out 12-12. Xbox One X. Well, you know what? We are not that far away. I'm super excited, and you should be super excited yeah, as great. well. Sea of Thieves is going to have some more updates over the coming months, so definitely go sign up for their Insiders program. And we've done our PUBG bit, so I am going to throw it back inside here. Moses, again, I want to thank you so much for joining me. We've been swapping our stories about P Player Unknown's Battleground, which has just blown up this year. No pun intended. They keep setting me up with puns. Now, we met up with the team at Paris Games Week to talk about what the experience has been like. Let's take a look and stick around because we have Brendan up front with Larry and Graham to t show us an all-new feature coming to the game, running on Xbox for the very first time. Check it out. Not a seasoned game developer, right? I mean, I'm, I was a photographer and a DJ for many years. For me, I've always focused on making a good game. It's not about the number of players I have or the fans I have. It's about just making a good game. Hello, my name is CS Kim. I'm executive producer of Player Unknown's Battleground and CEO of PopCop. The, the first time I met him was uh, via Skype. It was just after uh, an email he sent me where he kind of explained his vision for a Battle Royale game and the fact that he wanted to make it with me. And his vision really lined up with what I wanted from a game. So the original game played less than other worlds there. So, the first game was in the game, so I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot, and I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot, and I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot, and I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot, and I liked it a lot. 초등학교 4학년 때부터 이제 컴퓨터 프로그래밍을 이제 학원에 다니고 했었는데 그때 당시 이제 So I don't quite have the same experience in video games as CH. You know, you've worked for 16 years and I got a lovely email from CH saying he'd always wanted to make a battle royale game himself. He loved what I'd done and he gave me an outline as to what he wanted from a game and it, it just synced up perfectly. I was kind of convinced, okay, I want to meet this guy. Went to Korea probably the next week and spent about five days out in Korea with him and, and the team looking over their stuff. And uh, he's just a great guy. Joining us from live here in New York, straight from Paris Games Week, uh, Brazil Game Show, and pretty much every continent in the world, Brendan Green, Mr. Player Unknown himself. Great to see you, man. Hey, good to see you too, man. Hey, Brendan, how's it going? Pretty tired, but pretty Hanging good. it together, right? Yeah, hey, nice. I'm at the, the launch of the X. Yeah. I couldn't be happy. Now, I know, we're now so this close is really exciting. Now, well. now, I want to talk about Paris Games Week. That was your first time in Paris, right? It was, yeah, yeah. It was my, never been, even though I live across the water, but it was amazing being there, like, getting to meet so many fans. It now, was... what is it like with it at events for you? Because Player Unknown's Battleground is just, it's now a phenomenon. It's a, it's a global phenomenon, much like you. Oh, no, he's... <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, no, so I mean, nice. it, it's been amazing. Like, at Paris Games Week, I got to see, like, a huge queue of people getting to try, you know, uh, Battlegrounds on a controller for the first time. Yeah. And the feedback we got from the fans was so encouraging. They were all like, okay. this feels great, this feels natural. So, you know, it, it, I, I look forward to meeting more of them. Now, you have something to announce today, right? Mm. Yes, we do. Let's go, let's do it! <laughs> 
So uh, we're talking about vaulting. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so uh, vaulting is coming on the Xbox Game Preview uh, at launch. Right. Uh, and then um, coming to uh, PC on, on launch as well. Um, we have some video I think we're rolling of, of some vaulting on the Xbox One build. And you know, we're really excited to come into Game Preview. We're launching with uh, Xbox One X enhancements, yep. a HDR, nice. 4K is coming soon. And I just want to thank all you guys at Microsoft because without you know your help, we wouldn't get it out on December the 12th. Well, I just found out that we are coming up on the midnight moment, so oh, we're yeah. going to show we'll... the vaulting video a little bit later on. Oh, ah, okay. All right, so thank you for coming okay. by. All right, buddy. Listen, we're going to get going. No, don't Good move because always, we're going to see all this on Mixer a little bit later on, and people all over the world are getting their Xbox One X consoles and taking them home. That's right. But the celebration is finally here in the U.S. Yay! But we've been watching the highlights across the globe. Take a look. that's happening right now for Xbox. It's just becoming more and more realistic. It's like watching, you know, a James Cameron movie. It's, it's insane. I am gifting okay. <laughs> Xbox One X. Dwayne Johnson, AKA Dwayne Claus. I can't wait to get my hands on my own Xbox One X. Oh, hey, I'm just um, texting everyone I know, telling them I have an Xbox One X. It's not a big deal. We're here in the heart of London, and we've got all your favorite gamers coming in here to play the Xbox One X. I was a little intimidated coming in because it's like, it's like watching a film. It looks insane. passing the new Xbox One X onto the next generation. All right, I've staked out my spot here at the front and we are waiting for the team to arrive and deliver the very first Xbox One X. Now they're arriving in a Ford F-150 Raptor that has been specifically tricked out for the Xbox One X launch event. Now, you tend to Alicia, like you guys have been here for a while. When did you get here last night? Oh my God, I got here like 5 p.m. yesterday, it was crazy. And that's wild, and not to cut you off, it's literally here right now. So let's get up here, let's get up here, we're gonna sneak up. See if we can talk to Aaron Greenberg. First guest is making their way to the front desk. They're going to pick up their Xbox One X here in New York. You can see the stream of fans and uh, and folks are starting to come in here. Phil Spencer himself is here to present the very first person in line with their, you can see a little bit of hug there, a lot of love going around in here. People are just excited to get their hands on 4K gaming. We're here. This this day has been. We've been waiting for this day for a long time, haven't we, Graham? Absolutely. It feels like we've been working on this for like two years now. When we're finally here, it's the midnight moment. The world's most powerful console is here, the Xbox One X. This is great, isn't it? And so I gotta tell you, we've got fans hundreds of folks in, in line. They're starting to come in. They're picking up their consoles. Now I understand we held a few extra consoles for some people that forgot to who forgot to pre-order. No, Graham, how could you do that? <laughs> We're getting oh, some great, great moments up here. Now, I know that, as we said earlier in the show, a lot of folks around the world have already Absolutely. received their Xbox One Xs. I've been watching the tweets. I've been watching uh, everyone hit us up on social media say they've got their console. They love it. Absolutely. No, it's been great. It's one of the best things about the job, but particularly what I do, because I work with international markets around the world. Yep. So we saw New Zealand light up, but they did a really cool thing where they yep. had the guy who got the first Xbox One console in the world in back the, in 2013. Yeah. He drove around in a Lamborghini and delivered Xbox One X console. Where did he put them? There's no storage in there. So at least <laughs> he, he actually had two Lamborghinis. Okay. <laughs> I think the other one was just full of Xbox One Xs. Then we moved to Australia. Now they had a, they actually had a Xbox 
next one in. He's right. telling us, Phil. You can believe you know, it. Oh, you there know what? Goes. Hold on. Where is he? I need, I need to get the, no, the couple, the one that guy over here because let's, let's get him over here. All right. Let's get, let's get, we're going to get the, we're going to get the, uh, the main guy, or the very first guy in line because he's got his console. Let's get him over here. Brilliant. Yeah. There you go, brother. Good to see you, man. Now, you ready? Yes, I am. All right, now, I was, I was noticing, I was noticing that um, this console, you know, you pre-ordered this console and it's great, but I gotta tell you, I think we need to find a Scorpio edition for you. Would you like that? I would love that. Right, oh right. my God. Can we get this man a Scorpio edition? I'm gonna take yes. this one off your hands. I'll take that and one. And we're gonna go right over here. There you one. go. This is hey, the Project Scorpio look at that. edition. These are no longer available anywhere in the world, and we held one for you because of all oh, you've done mate. for us. So thank you, man. I'll thank let you go. You, all right. Thank you're you you're going to go home and enjoy that, so have fun. All right. Well, we've got, we've got more. Right? Yeah. The show is going to go on, including that vaulting video that, uh, Absolutely. that Brandon was going to go about. So we couldn't fit everything into the show into 60 minutes. So we have more to show you tonight. Right, Graham? All right, let's see. Let's find out what we're going to do. So we got a great message, actually, from the team. Real Madrid, one what? of the top football teams in the world. They still got beaten by Aberdeen FC back then. Enhorabuena por el lanzamiento de la Xbox One X. Enhorabuena por el lanzamiento de Xbox One X. Enhorabuena por el lanzamiento de la Xbox One X. Enhorabuena por el lanzamiento de la Xbox One X. Congratulations on the launch of Xbox One X. All right, this is an incredible <laughs> experience what Forza has done. So go ahead and take a look at this. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Benny from Xbox One, and we're here at the home of British Racing at Silverstone at the Porter Experience Center to play Forza 7 on the Xbox One X. So let's head inside and see what we're up to. So right at the entrance of the Porter Experience Center, you're welcomed by the GT2 RS, which is obviously the hero car for Forza Motorsport 7, and it's absolutely beautiful. So obviously the Porsche GT2 RS is the most powerful production car that Porsche make. It's got 700 horsepower, it's got a 3.8 litre twin turbo flat six engine. It even set the fastest lap time for a production car at the Nürburgring with around 6 minutes 37, which is pretty insane. So I'm joined by Dan Greenwald, the creative director at Turn 10 for Forza Motorsport 7. Got to ask, we're at the Porsche Experience Center. What's been the main difference on this game working with Porsche? Porsche's been an amazing partner, and it's really a commitment to tell cool stories. You know, at E3, we unveiled the 911 GT2 RS. Yeah. The crowd gasped. It was an incredible moment. And here, players are getting to experience the game in 4K, then go out on the track and drive a real car at speed. So obviously we've been playing it on 4K on the Xbox One X. What does the Xbox Enhanced version mean for the uh, Forza franchise? Forza Motorsport 7 was built from the ground up for the Xbox One X. So it looks incredible. It's almost more than enhanced. You have 4K textures, high resolution, HDR, and of course native 4K and 60 frames per second. Now I'm quite excited coming from a competitive background. What is the future for eSports with Forza Motorsport and obviously the racing championships? Forza Racing Championship is a way for us to develop a new form of motorsport, embracing this new digital generation, as well as the ethos of motorsport itself. Just comparing everything to real life, the bumps, the curbs, the track, it feels really, really natural and really realistic. The definition of everything is really sharp, and I've just been blown away by just how alive everything feels and how realistic it all feels. incredible day of combining the on-track time with the sim and then with the uh, with the game itself like on a controller every single thing you do has has its own little spark to it amazing spinning out in a real car spinning out it falls many times because I can rewind it's, it's been an awesome day so that's been our day at the Porsche Experience Center for Forza Motorsport 7. Do make sure to head over to Xbox One on YouTube for more great content like this and hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys next time.
Hey, I'm Jeff Strain. I'm the studio head here at Undead Labs in Seattle, Washington. And today we're going to be talking about State of Decay 2. State of Decay 2, it's the survival fantasy. It's about you being able to tell your story. It's about you being able to decide how you're going to survive uh, and making those decisions about resources and uh, scouting and who's going to be in your community, who do you trust, who do you not trust. All of those things that go into kind of that long-term survival fantasy, we wanted to make a game about that. So what we wanted was, with permadeath was uh, to create real stakes in the game where players develop uh, meaningful relationships with the survivors in their communities. And when they die, that has a real impact, not just on the community, but the story of the, uh, the entire game. In State of Decay 2, much like the original State of Decay, when a character dies, they're dead forever. And um, that was very controversial and very risky. And, and you know, our premise was, hey, um, you can't really have a game with any sense of threat, with any sense of consequences for the decisions you make, if you don't have permadeath. If you know that your character's going to bounce back and be like set a couple hundred yards back, you really don't feel that. Our focus is a really compelling and rich cooperative play experience so that you and your friends, or, or even you and soon-to-be friends, can get together and experience the game together. Playing State of Decay 2 on Xbox One X elevates it to a place where I think fans and, and people who enjoyed the first one are going to be really excited to play the new one. And it's not just about uh, visual fidelity. I mean, yes, we will be supporting 4K and HDR and all those bells and whistles. Uh, but more importantly for us, we're able to leverage that hardware to drive a more sophisticated simulation. Uh, and richer, not just visually, but uh, in terms of all the other details that go into making a, a living world. I think that players, as they play through the game, are going to immediately notice that the world feels more alive and, and uh, uh, more believable than the original did. I think the zombies in State of Decay 2 are going to be pretty exciting and fun for people to, to see. We have more dismemberment and gore this time, so I think it's going to be better on all fronts for, for, uh, for zombie fans. You can shoot that zombie and his entrails hang out the front or the head blasts off or you're hacking him off arms and legs. And there's a lot more animations this time around. Blood Plague zombies will infect characters with this, this sickness. And as it accumulates up in, in a survivor's body by getting repeatedly attacked, they'll eventually turn while they're alive. They'll become a Blood Plague zombie themselves. So they present a very real threat to their community and, and other human survivors in the world. That became our mission was to make uh, a, a game that let you answer that question. You know, what would you do? How will you survive? Hello everyone. Really excited to be part of the Xbox One X launch event here and to be showing off Sea of Thieves for the first time on the console. So first of all, I can confirm that we are in native 4K, which means that all of that beautiful environment, the beautiful world and the amazing water you've seen for Sea of Thieves already is really going to look amazing on the Xbox One X. And we're embracing HDR on Sea of Thieves, which really makes the colour and the vibrancy of the world pop. Alongside that, we're going for high-res textures, high-res shadows, and to ensure that we bring that world of Sea of Thieves to life, you're going to be hearing it in Dolby Atmos. And of course, Sea of Thieves on the Xbox One X will take advantage of the magic of crossplay, so you're going to be playing with players on the Xbox One S and Windows 10 players too. And now I'm really excited to show you our latest trailer for Sea of Thieves captured in glorious 4K. Roll VT. <laughs> Be more adventurous. Be more devious. Be more ferociously faithful to your crew. Be more treasure grabbing, skelly fighting, and take no prisoners. Be more firing yourself out of cannons and soaring like a majestic eagle. Be more sneaking on board, stealing the loot, and getting away with it too. Be more celebrating in style and holding your grog like a chap. Oh. Be more battling enemy players on stormy seas. Be more of a scavenger, wrestling with sharks as you plunder in sunken shipwrecks. Be more headshot nailing, 
Chest cashing, plank smashing, cannon firing, treasure hauling, map reading, riddle solving, water bailing, ship crashing, banana crunching, and above all else, be more pirate. We're still going. People are still coming in off the streets to get their Xbox I'd One X's you, now. Well, that is launch madness for you, isn't it? Now it's we got had, in here. We ran up against midnight. Yeah. And we were talking to Brendan about PUBG, so we want to roll that video for you now so you can see the awesome new vaulting feature coming to PUBG, which is also going to be Xbox One enhanced when we launch a game preview next month. It's going to support HDR, and I'm being told, Brendan told me they're exploring a 4K update post-launch, right? Nice, yeah, that's right. It's, it's great to hear Brendan talk about the support that the Xbox team has given him, right? That's yeah. very cool. And this vaulting feature, I think, is going to be massive. Now, one of the things that we're really proud of, uh, we haven't talked about this yet, oh, yeah, yeah. is we're, that we've been participating in the Rally the Troops program, right? Yes. Now, this is going on now in the Xbox community, Ben. We're pleased to report that we have surpassed our 25 million achievement goal and we're going to donate a half a million dollars nice. to the call of duty endowment that's great now tell us about the endowment yeah it's really important it helps veterans find great jobs uh, as they return to the workplace uh, and i'm happy to say that i contributed a few of those achievements this past weekend as well so yeah it's great stuff well done everyone uh, and as you know we've been given the chance to win prizes all night long here at our xbox one x launch event including madden 18 and star wars battlefront 2 to help oh. Celebrate this incredible launch. And now we're going to give away 10 copies of Call of Duty World War II via our retweet to win sweeps. All right, now listen, we've had a lot, and I mean a lot of familiar faces showing up down here tonight in New York City, and they came to check out the games and hang out with some of their fellow gamers right, right outside, yeah. right? Yep. Ronda Rousey was here killing it on Assassin's Creed Origins. Caleb from Stranger Things, have you finished the season two? I finished first season yesterday. Liam from One Direction. I know you were excited for Liam from That's One Direction. Right, yep. Was on the track in Forza. Plus, Conan O'Brien was hanging here. out with Phil Spencer. And speaking of guys like Conan O'Brien, right. Shaquille O'Neal. Oh my goodness. He's a monster. He's a big hunk of a man, isn't he? Absolutely ridiculous. But yeah, it was great to see them together, wasn't it? Yeah, it was great to see Conan here. I mean, Conan's a huge gamer. Yeah, absolutely. They're all great gamers. Gaming is one of those things that just brings everybody together. We loved having them down here being part of the event. And it was great as well, because they came down, they talked to the fans, yeah. they hung out, they played games with the fans as well. So that's really great. It's nice to have them part of it. Well, I got to tell you, you know what? Wow. I think we're out of time. I want to oh. go home and play my Xbox One X. I know you do. Absolutely. And I know everybody watching wants to do that as well. You know, the problem is we're going to be back at the line now, Larry. Yeah, right. Look at this. Oh, well, what are we going to do? Anyway, listen, on behalf of everybody at Xbox, we want to say thank you for your support. Yes. We do it for you, the community, right, Graham? That's absolutely right. You are the beating heart of Xbox. We do it all for you. Thank you so much for your feedback and your support over the years. Xbox One X is a console that's been designed for you. It is the world's most powerful console, and I'm absolutely delighted that I've been here tonight to be part of this incredible So launch. thank you for coming down. If you joined us online, thank you for joining us online. Thank you to our friends here at the Microsoft Store in New York City. Have a great time with Xbox One X. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.